It's a set of 124 geographic zones or coordinate systems originally developed in the 1930s by the U.S. Coast and Geodetic Survey. The state plane coordinate system is des designated for specific regions of the United States and assists in creating a comprehensive method for converting curvilinear coordinates, namely the latitudes and longitudes, to a two-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system. The invention of the Cartesian coordinates in the 17th century by René Descartes allowed the use of algebraic equations involving coordinate points to calculate the dimensions, locations of the northing and the easting coordinates on a flat plane using the familiar XY points, right? So effectively, you can think of these coordinates as just, once again, a grid pattern of all 90-degree intersecting lines. And so the curvature of the Earth is ignored in all of our calculations. As a result, we can use the simple plane geometry to find our distances between each of the spaces. And so we don't need to use the curve curvilinear uh, calculations for it. So they are all calculated by each of the states as they maintain these. The state plane coordinate system uses a simple Cartesian coordinate to specify the northing and the easting points. Rather than the more complex spherical system, the state plane is a database of calculated points which permanently adjusts for the curvature of the Earth. So we can use plane surveying methods based on right angles to use. This system is highly accurate. So let's just take a look at Texas, for example. Texas has five zones. Here in Texas, each of the zones are independent of the other. So the accuracy in each of the zones here in Texas is within 1 to 10,000, which is sufficient for urban surveying accuracies. However, as soon as you move from the state plains, it rapidly declines, and so effectively any property within each of the zones and the distances are perfect for within that zone. 